Hello everybody, this is Captain Jirwa, and welcome back to the test world. And as you may have already guessed, we are in the newest snapshot, 13 week B. Um, and this update is for, or the snapshot is for the new redstone update, which has added a whole lot of new things. Uh, I'm not going to go over all of these new things, since there are lots of videos on that already, but what I am going to go over is how to make an automatic furnace room with the new hoppers, and in this one, the comparator. But first, a few disclaimers. One, in this system, this one of these rooms only works for one specific thing. So. This one I have set up only works for iron, and this one over here only works for the new, uh, you can smelt netherrack into nether bricks. So that's what this one is set up for. Second, uh, for this one, which is the one that actually works, you need to also put in the system the exact amount of coal or blaze rods or wood to smelt uh, your iron or nether rack or whatever and have nothing left that is very important i'll explain that in a little bit but besides that these systems are absolutely amazing because we have in vanilla minecraft item transportation uh, mainly made possible by these hoppers this is the uh, first furnace room I built before I learned about the comparator. And it basically was, I threw the uh, iron and coal on there, and it smelted and all these are, f oops, there's some ore in there, but all these are filled with ingots, so just to uh, be placeholders basically, and this one is filled with iron. And basically when it's done, you just take out a half a stack from each of these and it gets refilled and you put them in your chest. Uh, and this is just a 10 minute timer just to tell you when it's done. Uh, and I may show how I did this later, but uh, that's not really important now. Anyway, but this one is the one that actually works. Let's see how close we are to getting done. Okay, pretty close. Anyway, the way this one works is you throw, if you're smelting a whole stack of something, you throw, you throw the, uh, you throw what you're smelting in first, and then you throw in your eight coal, and it'll start smelting here. It'll get sucked into the furnace. And the uh, hopper here is full of the thing, and this there's 20 in the first slot, which is very important. I'll cover that in a minute. And this dispenser is completely full of them. And basically, um, the comparator here is the crux of this contraption because the comparator is like a item inventory scanner. Uh, how close are we now? It's like an item inventory scanner and it scans the first slot of this hopper and basically takes an inventory of how many items are in there constantly. And when this item amount gets over 20, it'll start shooting out a redstone pulse. And you set it to uh, go off when it goes over 20 by this redstone pulse in the side. Uh, I have it three blocks of signal going into it, which sets it to uh, if when it goes over 20 to send out a pulse. And you can set it to other amounts. Uh, I recommend you read the wiki if you want to learn more about that, because I still don't completely understand it myself. But basically, once this is done smelting, the items will start getting sucked out of the furnace into the hopper. Sorry, I fell there. And once they do, it'll start shooting out redstone signal, which will activate this clock. And when this clock is activated, it'll make the dispenser start shooting. And when the dispenser sh starts shooting, these items in the first slot will start getting sucked out more. So it's basically just a complete process. And it'll only stop once uh, this goes back down to 20, which means ergo once all 64 nether bricks are shot out. And oops. Okay, and yeah, this, this is also something I need to address. You need to get the amount of coal exactly right, or else it'll jam the system. 
because the way hoppers below furnaces work is everything has to be out of these two slots before it'll start sucking out of this slot, even if everything in this is placeholder. It's just the way it works. I, it sucks, but that's the way it is. So, and I did this because uh, there was extra nether rack up here. Um, whoops, damn it. Oh, okay. So, did that activate it? Okay. Well, anyway, uh, let's put our... Well, actually, what we can do is we can put our furnace back, and we can emulate that by throwing our 64 nether bricks into the top of this hopper. And, of course, there's that weird glitch. So let's just do this. Okay, so now that there are new nether bricks being added into the system, the system starts firing, which, uh, firing out of the dispenser that is, as you can see, it's firing them into this hopper over here, which, uh, if I can get a good look at it, is attached to this chest right over here, and it's filling up. Now, you, you might say that, oh, well, this is stupid. It just transports at two blocks. Well, that's true. It does in this system. But if you build this, uh, this system has the potential to be reaching like a really, really long amount of distance. And you can do this by either just having empty hoppers like, if I just attached more hoppers to this, I could just have them traveling and traveling and traveling, like so. Um, or you can also just do it with water streams and have them get sucked into a hopper that's attached to your... Damn it, I keep accidentally doing this. You can have it going into your chest with, like, placeholder things like this. So that you will fill up this hopper, have it smelt, and then you'll walk away, and on its own, it'll go to your storage room chest or whatever, and damn it, and fill it up with, uh, I hate it when I accidentally do that, um, and it'll fill it up with uh, iron ingots or whatever. So, yeah, that's basically how that works. Um, so, yeah, I think that's about it, though. Uh, this snapshot is definitely, like, one of the hugest snapshots that has ever come out in Minecraft. And there are definitely lots of huge possibilities that exist in this, especially since soon I think they are going to release filtering options. I'm not sure they may not actually do that. But anyway, I'm rambling. Hope you guys like this furnace design. It does work, and it is vanilla Minecraft. And I'll give you a minute to look at this if you want to copy it. And otherwise, if you enjoyed, feel free to leave a like. If you want to see more Minecraft videos, subscribe to my channel. Uh, but otherwise, I am out of here. Peace. See you all later. Also, really quick, one more thing of note. In this snapshot, uh, like all snapshot, there are glitches, and I'm not sure exactly what the cause of this one is, but basically, somewhere in this system, there is a duplication glitch happening. Uh, as you can see, nothing in that hopper, nothing in this furnace. Uh, all I have in my hand are 64 nether bricks, so let's throw them into this system really quick, and we'll see how many we end up with. At the end, uh, when I did this with iron ingots, I got like 12 extra ones. And when I do with it this, I kind of get an uh, inconsistent number. But every time I have gotten more than 64 nether bricks back. So that is definitely a bug. Uh, it might be because of the clock pulse. Maybe if you uh, added some delay to these repeaters, it would fix it. Um, but let's see. Should be finishing really quick here.
Yeah, see, we got more than 64 nether bricks when we only put in 64. Oh, wow. Yeah, so we got 14 extra nether bricks. So there is a duplication glitch in this system. Hopefully in the new snapshots it will be fixed, but thought I'd just point that out. Anyway, yeah, that's it. Have a good day. Bye.